Well, it's a very good morning from the Lake District. It's uh, the 28th of October and uh, we're here for a camp and it's probably going to be uh, the last one of the year. Uh, we just lose the light too early, so we tend to stay local in the winter. But as it was a beautiful day, we thought, why not? So it's really early, it's about half past nine in the morning. Um, Rich was round at mine at half past six so we made good time to get here it's cold on isn't it rich very cold yeah one degree it is so yes we're uh, heading that direction up to uh Thornithway and uh, up onto high street and then we're uh, heading past the knot rest dot and uh, finally onto uh Angletown Pikes, which is where we're camping tonight. So, like I say, sunset is early, it's quarter to five, so I'd like to be pitched up for about half past three. Uh, enjoy the little bit of uh, light that we've got on the views. And uh, yeah, sun's up at quarter to seven in the morning, so clear morning as well, apparently, so we should hopefully get a nice sunrise. And uh, I'm looking forward to a nice sunset tonight as well because uh, we've got clear skies. Right, we'll see you on the way. Right, so we're about two miles in and we've been walking an hour and uh, we've just got to Thornithwaite Cove and we'll be heading up and over to the left and that's onto Thornithwaite Crack. And then we're going to keep going up across and onto High Street. Beautiful day. Certainly is a nip in the air though. I think as soon as we get up high, yeah, the extra layers are going to be going on because it'll be yeah, quite cold. Well, that's the first little section done in the distance there. You see Windermere. Uh, that's where we're heading, on its way to crack, and then up onto uh, High Street. Alright, so, on its way to crack summit. That was a tough old climb, that. Let's take five here, and then head on to High Street.
right, so pitched up. Uh, it's about half past three now, and uh, so a little spot down there. So yes, got some nice views. We're out the wind. So happy days. I'm gonna cook maybe an hour. Sunset's uh, early, quarter five tonight. So might eat before then, might eat after then, not sure. Yes, I'll take your opportunity. Right, so back at the tents. Um, I pretty much got the same setup as I had last week when I was in the Peak District. Um, got the MLD Bivy, my uh, feathered friend's Flicker 20 quilt. The only difference is I've got my uh, PhD Yukon jacket because uh, we're dropping into the minuses tonight, so it's gonna be pretty chilly. And uh, I don't think my wrap continuum would have uh, been good enough. So here we've got a really good spot here up on uh, Angletown Pikes. <coughs> a great spot with some great views. Yes. I'll show you Richie's setup. He's in an actual tent tonight. So he's got his uh, Voyager Ultra 2 with him. That's a given out in. And he's also got his uh, Enlightened Equipment Revelation 10. Because like I said, it is going to be very cold tonight. Yeah, nice tent that. Nice and lightweight. So we do geodesic on the poles. Right, so got a bit of camp kitchen going. And there's Richie. There's a Caldera F keg. And there's man. There's a Caldera H keg. So both on the gourmet food tonight. Pot noodle. <laughs> yeah, when you're uh, doing plenty of miles and uh, a lot of climbing, lightest food will do. We are posh, we don't love them posh camping meals that cost six quid each. Our pot noodles cost a pound each. Can't afford it after spending so much on tents. <laughs> so yeah, it's about five past five and uh, just waiting for our water to boil before we can have our tea. And then uh, I think it'll be another cider and uh, onto the wine. Well, it's about minus two with wind chill. The ambient temperature is about 2 degrees, so very cold. Well, good morning from Angletown Pikes. It's uh, half past six, and it is bloody cold. Uh, with a wind chill last night, it was minus three. Sure, if we're going to bother cooking or not, 